Hello there, this is Philip Nylinger, KA4KOE, with another episode of Electromagnetic Mischief. Uh-huh, yeah, right. Anyway, I've been doing some antenna testing uh, over the uh, long weekend for the holiday. I've made some conclusions. Anything for 20 and up with a loading coil in it is too fiddly. It's difficult to get it to... There's too many uh, intermittent connections with coil taps and so on, and... I think the best solution for those wanting to run a vertical ground plane antenna is a nice 17 foot whip. I have six 17 foot counterpoise wires off this. I'm not really investigating getting a ground screen like everybody else. It's just too much bulk. But I have six ground wires. This uh, antenna is resonating around uh, 250, 14,250, with about a 1.1 SWR with the whip fully extended. Since these radials aren't tuned to change bands, of course, you would just shorten the whip, which is very, very easy. With all due respect to products out there, if you can avoid using a loading coil, avoid using, avoid using a loading coil. It just adds loss, and things are difficult to get it to work. That's just from my personal experience. I'm going for ease of deployment and effectiveness uh, slash efficiency. The, the butter pole... Uh, rapid deployment tripod is just too fragile and it will come over tip over very easily this is a bogan manfrotto camera tripod that i've had for a very long time it's my multi-purpose porpoise uh, antenna accessory with a regular um, mirror mount for a so239 a 38 by 24 connector and this is working very well there's the n9 sab choke and the feed line and this is a Camelian whip. I recently bought a uh, tactical delta loop from them and the whips are very high quality so I'm going to use it for several different things. I'm going to use it for the tactical delta loop. I'm going to use it for a ground mount of vertical. This, like I said, this was working like gangbusters. I know this information has been gone other by others but I think all of this in terms of learning about radio theory, you just can't read it out of a book or watch videos. You actually have to get out there with an analyzer and do it yourself. No elevated radials, make them untuned, lay them on the ground. You have one thing to fiddle with, and that is the length of the radiator to get it to come into resonance on a quarter wave. That's my learning moment for today. This is KA4KOE, Philip Nylinger, Richmond Hill, Georgia, and we will talk to you later. Have a good weekend, or what's left of it. Bye-bye.